Hello and welcome to today's presentation of our study on the prioritization of future work skills in companies and identification of suitable methods for their implementation. My name is Janina Gavrian. I'm a researcher at Stuttgart Media University in Germany and I did the study together with Jürgen Seitz. He's a professor for digital marketing and digital business at Stuttgart Media University. First of all, I would like to give you a brief overview on the background of the topic, which is basically our world of work 4.0, where technological, demographic and socio-economic innovations are leading to profound changes in work, both in terms of content and organization. So the demands on employee skills profiles are constantly changing, and as the competencies evolve slower than the changes in the work environment and demands on the employee skills profiles, this inevitably results in a skills gap. For this, we set up a study on future work skills. The study aims to identify and define future employee competencies that are critical to the success of knowledge workers in times of digital transformation and also to quantify those skills in terms of relevance, maturity and urgency of implementation in companies. We aim to find out where the greatest need for action in upskilling is and which skills should be made a priority. Further, we aim to figure out which types of professional training are suitable for the implementation of future work skills in companies. Finally, we wanted to formulate some approaches for closing or at least narrowing the competence gap. In order to set up a framework of future work skills, we analyzed relevant literature in the form of mostly German and English language publications, for example, studies from the European Commission, the US Institute for the Future and many more. This analysis revealed a broad field of possibly relevant competencies and as those were more than 120, we defined qualitative aspects for a selection. The skills were selected by the aspects of being relevant across sectors and professions and thus transferable to different areas of activity of being applicable in a dynamic environment over longer periods of time and thus independent of the changing specific knowledge, of being as little imitable as possible through automation and artificial intelligence and thus making people a non-substitutable workforce and of enabling people to realize their full potential and take advantage of the opportunities of the new world of work and also to deal competently with its risks. Finally, we got a selection of 21 future work skills for our study and based on their characteristics, those skills were assigned to the categories of self-management skills, for example, active learning or focus, social skills, for example, social intelligence, methodological skills, which are, for example, computational thinking or complex problem solving, and applied knowledge, for example, new media literacy or ICT literacy. For the quantification of the skills, we surveyed their maturity level in companies and also their relevance for company success and goals each on a scale from 0 to 5 and from the values obtained we derived a prioritization with regard to the urgency of their implementation in companies. To gather the data we did a standardized online survey with 127 experts from the HR and management field which means we had as many valid questionnaires and in the survey, we also provided literature-based definitions of each skill. The survey produced high-quality data as shown by low values of measurement uncertainties. In order not to influence our participants, 
we didn't inform them our goal was to obtain the urgency of implementation. So we developed a formula to calculate the urgency from the values obtained in terms of relevance and maturity. So the higher the relevance and the lower the maturity is, the higher our value of urgency will be. Now let's take a look at the results of our study. In this graph you can see the evaluated skills sorted by the values obtained for the urgency of their implementation. In general, the study shows that the future work skills are classified as relevant or even very relevant, but have a rather mediocre level of maturity. Overall, the relevance of all the skills is higher than their maturity level in companies and therefore there seems to be a need for competence development for all skills. And the ranking of the skills clearly shows that the methodological skills, adaptive and novel thinking and willingness to change and the self-management skill, active learning, have the highest level of urgency and therefore should be developed with priority. To dive a little deeper into the top three skills, let's take a quick look at how they were defined in our study. The most urgent skill, adaptive and novel thinking, is defined as the ability to leave routines and old patterns of thinking and to combine knowledge and information in a new way to face new situations and problems. The second skill, willingness to change, is the ability to deal competently with change and the willingness to react openly and constructively to novelties. And active learning is defined as the ability to recognize one's own learning needs, to actively work on meeting them and to apply the appropriate learning forms and techniques. In the second part of our survey, we aim to find out what types of training the experts consider useful for the implementation of future work skills in companies. And the results show that workshops and blended learning offers are rated as the most suitable forms of training, followed by e-learning. In contrast, pure presence events are considered less useful for teaching future work skills. Nevertheless, further development of the personal mindset and the creation of an agile working environment also seem to be necessary for the full development of the future work skills. We think that the results of the study can be used as a guide in the large and complex field of future-oriented competencies and this guide might help companies, training providers and employees to identify the essential competencies for the future and to keep them in focus. Thank you very much for your attention.